idiot cops often bend and break the law and think they can get away with it, but what happens when these cops are caught red-handed by their bosses? Here are four cases where idiot cops got pulled over by their bosses. So nothing to drink at all? No, sir. So if you blow in a portable breath test, it'd be triple. I gross. refuse all that. You can call your sergeant if you want to. This is Justin Shields, an officer with the Cincinnati Police Department. Officer Shields was pulled over around 1 a.m. on April 14th in Claremont County for speeding by Ohio State Highway Patrol troopers. The troopers believed that Shields had been drinking upon meeting him, and little did Shields know that he wouldn't get an easy out just because he was an officer. Hello. How are you? Got you stopped your speed. My bad, bro. I appreciate it. Cincinnati. Okay, okay. Anything to drink tonight? Nope. Mind if I check your eyes out? Yes, sir. All right, bring your head out here just a little bit. Okay. Follow tip my finger with your eyes only. Don't we yep. To... Man, how much you had to drink? Literally nothing. I took my friend home. All right, I'm going to get you out and make sure you're okay to drive. Okay. Step on out. You know, your tags are expired as well. I, I know that already. I work for Cincinnati. You work for Cincinnati and you got expired you got me, I, tags? I showed you my badge. I know, but I'm saying you work for Cincinnati and you drive around with expired tags. How long you work for them? About a year and a half. I, gradu I, I started when I graduated college. All right. I'll have you walk to the passenger side of my vehicle. You said walk to the pack? Yes, sir. Side, what do you want me to start? Just walk back there. Just walk on. Just walk? Yeah, normal. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know if you were doing the, if you're doing the, the, the step test or whatever. No, I'm going to do HGN first. And we'll go from there. Stand by my front tire there. Up to this point, Officer Shields has already mentioned multiple times that he works for the Cincinnati Police Department, clearly hoping to be let off easy. The trooper proceeds with the traffic stop and is actually shocked that Shields is an officer but is still driving with expired tags. Where do you live at? You said what? Where do you live at? I'm literally going home. I drop my friend off. Okay. We're at my friend's house. Okay. Cool. All right, just stand right here. Okay. Face out towards me. The trooper goes ahead with the HGN, a horizontal gaze nystagmus test, which is generally the first field sobriety test that officers take. He feels that Officer Shields is intoxicated and wishes to do more tests to confirm it. So nothing to drink at all? No, sir. So if you blow in a portable breath test, it'd be triple I gross. refuse all that. You can call your sergeant if you want to. I don't need to call my sergeant. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, call just, my I'm sergeant? just saying. But like, I have literally have had nothing to drink. Nothing to drink, then it nothing. would be triple zeros, nothing. right? You mean you both know how it goes. I know how it goes. Yeah, me too. And you've been drinking. I have not. You have. I can still smell it on you as you're talking. You cannot you. smell anything on me. I can smell, I can it smell gum because I've had gum. No, I can smell a strong odor of an alcohol beverage. You cannot. I can. Okay. Why would I make it up? Why would I pull you out of the car? I, I have no idea. I was speeding. Yes, if you want to earn me speeding ticket and uh, ticket for my life, for my registration being expired, fine. That's fine. Okay. But you're not willing to pull in a portable breath test? No, sir. I'm going to put you through some more tests. I refuse. You refuse? Go ahead and turn around. Put your hands what, what, what test? Turn what? around. I will, I will do the test. You want to do the test now? I will do the test. I really just want to meet. Why, why are you trying to re You know how this goes. I man. know how it goes. That's, that's that's why I'm asking you why you're doing this. Like, I want to get Because I smell alcohol. alcohol. I'm, doing, I'm doing my job. Okay, I will do it. Officer Shields initially refuses the breathalyzer test and any further sobriety tests, claiming that he's had no drinks that night. But after figuring out that he can't easily get out of this with a speeding ticket, he agrees to the other field sobriety tests. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Are you serious right Yes, now? sir. You're under arrest for operating vehicle impaired. Put your palms together. Bring your arms back. Do you need another set? What'd you say? Do you need two sets on? No, I don't. You don't? I don't. Take your watch off and put it in your pocket for me. This is a Rolex. All right, put it in your pocket. I don't want any possession of your Rolex. Pulse together. So it's your girlfriend? Yeah. She been drinking too? No. Just you? Yep. All right. Well, I haven't been drinking, but my, you friend, my friend's been drinking. I can see that confused with the question. Officer Shields can be clearly seen taking the law lightly just because he's an officer with the CPD. Not only was he speeding in a car with expired tags, he was driving under the influence and was repeatedly trying to get away easy. He brings up that he's with the Cincinnati Police Department and that he knows how things work multiple times in hopes to wind up the stop and just get away. Unfortunately for him, the state trooper sticks to procedure and after the test charges him with OVI. Officer Shields even accidentally admits that he's been drinking as he's being arrested, but then tries to cover it up. But if you think Officer Shields was an idiot cop who got busted, wait till you find out about Officer Garcies who gets caught about as red-handed as you can. What happened? Uh, what if he goes, oh, 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 oh. huh? 
Motor vehicle stop. It's not a motor vehicle stop. You weren't driving. This is Officer Mauricio Garces with the Union City Police Department. Officer Garces was found asleep in his vehicle in the middle of the street by Secaucus PD officers with no clue of what was going on. Hey, how you doing? Secaucus Police, put your car in park. Put your car in park. Hey, yo. Put your car in park. Put it in park. Put the gear in park. Put the gear in park. Perfect. How you feeling? Okay. See you, August Police. Okay. Officer Gonzalez, be recording my body cam, okay? Hello. What happened? We're home, man. That's it. Uh huh. You know where you are? Yeah, Hogan. Where are you? By Hogan. You where? Yeah, by Hogan. By Hogan? By Hogan. By Hoboken? You know what town you're in? Yeah, Hogan. You know, you're not in Hoboken. We're home. Where's home? Hey, two blocks away. I live in, in uh, Sea Caucus. You live in Sea Caucus? Yes, sir. Where in Sea Caucus do you live? I got Black Away. Black Away? Yes, Can sir. you roll out the window a little bit more? Okay, do you understand what's going on right now? Yes, sir. What happened? I'm going home, is it? No, you understand what's going on, though. You understand why I'm here talking to you. Of course, brother. What happened? Uh, one of vehicles stop. Huh? One of vehicles stop. It's not one of vehicles stop. You weren't driving. You got it, brother. I'm going straight home. You going straight home? Where you coming from? Uh, Union City. You come from Union City? Yes, sir. What are you doing? Uh, doing straight home. You were just driving straight home? Yes, sir. Do you understand why why I'm talking to you though right now? Do you understand yes, what sir. happened? What happened right now? I'm gonna straight line. I said I was um, gonna go home. Huh? Straight home. That's it. You gonna straight home? That's yes, it. Sir, brother. Yeah, but but you didn't answer me my question. Uh, you weren't driving your car, okay? I didn't stop you. You already stopped. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Do you understand what you were doing? Yes, I was stopped. I didn't go home straight home. No, you're not understanding. You're not understanding what I'm saying. The reason, reason why I'm here is because you fell asleep. Yes, sir. So sorry, I must No, you didn't say any of that. Okay, I just woke you up right now. Yes, sir. I went straight home. That's it. Okay, you're, you're repeating yourself. All right. Apart from that fact that Officer Grace's was found asleep literally in the middle of the road, it's quite obvious that he is intoxicated as seen by his mumbling and failure to comprehend the officer's question. I, 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 two blocks away, that's it. Two blocks away or anything? Yes, sir. All right. It, 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 it. Okay. You, you, your speech is a little slurred. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you drink anything? I uh, had a couple of drinks. You had a couple of drinks? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. All right. I'm going to ask you to step out of the car for me. Your car, leave your car in park, right? Just step out of the car. We're gonna go right here in the sidewalk. Come in the sidewalk. How much did you have to drink tonight? 39, I'll be out of a couple. A couple? What's a couple? About how much? Uh, two. Okay. Why are you looking away from me? I'm talking to you. Right. Look, yes, sir. Okay. Look towards me. Okay. What's a couple? Uh, a two. A two? Yeah. Okay. All right. Officer Garces claims that he's only had two drinks, but it's apparent from his behavior that he's had a lot more. What's a couple of drinks? Like two. About two? Yeah. All right. Um, you take your hands out of your pocket for me? I'm sorry. I'm asking you for anything at the time, okay? No. What are you doing? Have you? Sorry, I guess uh, you've done this already in the past? You have? Yeah, I do work for, for Union City PD. What's that? I do work for Union City PD. I, I never asked you that. I know. Why would you bring it up? I'm just telling you. Okay. But what, that has, what does it have to do with... Uh, you being checked like this before. Nothing. No. I guess you want me to take some type of preference or something that you mentioned that? No. Like I said, you're being recorded right now also, okay? I don't know about that. I don't. Okay. I mean, All right, do it for you. Take your head off. You're doing a job. Take your head off. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to ask you to do, okay? You have any medical conditions? You wear glasses? No. Contacts? You have a glass eye? No. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to ask you to do, okay, look, look at me. Look at my pen, okay? 
All right, and you just follow my pen without moving your head. All right, just your eyes, okay? At this point, the field sobriety tests are just a formality. Officer Garces is unable to make sense of even his own answers and is making a fool of himself. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right, just turn around for me and then just put your arms back like this. All right, turn around real quick and just put your arms out like that. Do that for me? Is that right? Okay, that's fine. All right. Put your hands together like this. Put your hands together. Okay, you're being arrested right now for suspicion of driving under the influence of alcohol, okay? By the end of the stop, Officer Garces was in just enough of his senses to make out that he was getting arrested and was gonna be in big trouble. It's commendable that the officer from Secaucus PD followed procedure professionally, even though Officer Garces was clearly hammered and even calls him out for mentioning he's an officer with the Union City PD as it has nothing to do with the stop. But if you think Officer Garces got into trouble because of his idiocy, wait till you find out about Officer Shaoni. Watch him butcher his career all in a couple of minutes. I am going into work, my man. Why are you trying to pull me over as I'm going Because you're work? going 80 and a 45. I am going into work. This is Officer Shawnee from the Orlando Police Department who was pulled over on June 6th, 2023 by Deputy Hill. Deputy Hill had to chase down Officer Shawnee before finally pulling him over after he caught Officer Shawnee going 80 in a 45 miles per hour zone down Florida Avenue. Copy down that bumper. Yes, 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 yes. This one or this yeah, one? Yeah, 11070. Pull over. You going to pull over? Please say a command. Pull over. You can already tell from Officer Shaoni demeanor that he doesn't expect to be held accountable for his actions. Three one thirteen to three thirteen. What? Do you... I am going into work, my man. Why are you trying to pull me over as I am going? Because you're work? going eighty and a forty-five. I am going into work. Okay, where are you going? What does to it work look for? like I am dressed for? I have. What no... does it look like I am dressed for? My name is Deputy Hilton, and they see your driver's license. No. Okay. Three one thirteen. Copy at ten fifty. Ten four. I got a city uh, Orlando PD taking off from a traffic stop. Uh, it's gonna be. Refuse to stop. Officer Shaouni seems to think that just because he's a police officer with a poor excuse like he's going into work, it's all right to disrespect the law and storm off from a traffic stop. Thankfully, the Orlando PD doesn't agree and has since relieved Officer Shaouni from his duties, and he has been criminally charged with resisting an officer, reckless driving, as well as fleeing and eluding a law enforcement officer. If you're thinking Officer Shaouni behaved like an idiot, wait till you see Officer Sarah create a scene forcing officers to come set her straight. So as far as her giving me a ticket, uh -huh. I'm a law enforcement officer. Okay. This was Officer Sarah of the Apopka Police Department. Officer Sarah was caught up in an accident by East Anderson Street and South Bumby when Orlando police officers arrived on scene to investigate what had happened. Sorry. Anything on you, guns or anything? No, not at all. Where's your actual ID? Yeah, cause that one you don't need anymore. You can get rid of that. I need the other ID. Sorry. You're good. Okay. That one. Thank you. I'm going to take that back. Okay, go ahead and have a seat for me really fast. Just take a seat. Are you... You're, if you guys are good to go, if you want to, whatever you want to do. He's a f***ing jerk. Hey, I'm not... I'm talking to them. Sorry. If you're law enforcement, you know better than to be I talking to us like this. Then you know better than to be talking to us like this. Right off the bat, 
the Apopka officer is behaving unprofessionally and needs to be corrected by the officers on scene. What happened? So, um, so I'm pulling off of the off, off the ramp. Obviously, like the road closed. Um, slow down to a stop. Look back, and I'm, you know, I see headlights. But You're in this lane. What? Uh, in the off, in the coming yeah, off of coming the off, okay. off ramp, and it's closed. So I see headlights. Like, look over and. I don't. I mean, I don't even see headlights. Uh, they're far enough behind me to where you could stop. Uh, oh, wow. And so I, I pull over and I drive for a little bit. Then I feel a okay. kind of a on the on the side. And I pull over and look and. You know, this truck is kind of stopped behind me. I pop out and I jump out of the car. And she's she jumps out immediately and is like, "Bro, I'm a cop. I'm a like I'm a cop." And I'm like, "Fantastic, okay." I'm like, "I'm like, okay." And I was like, "Well, you hit me and." And I was just, I was confused at first. I was like, well, how did that happen so quickly, I guess? Mm-hmm. And just instinctively, I'm like, I am not wrong. I had plenty of time. She, you know, certainly you can see the initial impact, mm-hmm. rear quarter panel, and then it slid across the side of the front door. So I just jumped out and talked to this person behind me. I mm-hmm. said, hey, like, did you see that? And do you mind pulling over and witnessing? She's like... Uh, yes, by the way, she was swerving a lot. Oh, right. And again, I'm not trying to, I'm just No, you're good, you're good. That's said. fine. I'm not going to go talk to her, too, so you're good. And and I said, well, it appeared that she hit me, and, and she said, yeah, she was swerving a lot. And I was like, well, do you mind pulling over? And her name's Ray. I got her phone number. Okay. Right. The officer on scene go ahead and take the witness statements to get an idea of what happened, and it becomes pretty clear that the Apopka officer was at fault for the accident. Um, I just want to let you know, though, you are at fault for this crash, okay? And you will be getting a ticket for it for careless driving. Okay. Even though he hit me, it's it's dependent upon what everybody says, and what everyone says is that you swerved into him. Okay. So if you're at fault, and I'll be giving you. I'll, you'll get a ticket. I'll wait for you to stand by. When they, when you're done. Can you come over here, please? I just want. I want us off the road. There's a lot of traffic coming by. What's up? So as far as her giving me a ticket, uh-huh. I'm a law enforcement officer. Okay. So he literally ran into me as I was coming off, like driving here. He okay. hit me. I feel you. So uh, I, I, I said I don't believe you. We just have. I mean, you know how it works. We have an independent witness that you don't know. He doesn't know. That says differently. It says they saw you. He's a f- last word. Okay. Why do you think that? Because he yelled at me the second I got out of my car and okay. went up to him and tried to talk to him. Okay. This is an obvious attempt by the Apopka officer who's trying to use her position as a law enforcement officer to convince the officers on scene that the victim was actually at fault and was also aggressive with her, which is the opposite of what actually transpired. So Sarah, so here's the deal, okay? So the crash investigation is over, okay? So while we've been interacting with you, myself, other officers, the witnesses, they've been able to smell the odor of alcohol on you, your, your, your speech, your bloodshot really? eyes, your mannerisms, okay? So we have reason to believe that you might be the influence of drugs and or alcohol okay. okay so at this point in time i am conducting a criminal dui investigation and a battery investigation as well sure okay so i'm going to read you your rights i understand you know how this works okay i need you when i ask you these questions i just need a verbal yes or no to make sure you understand what i'm explaining to you okay okay at this point sarah realizes that not only is she definitely being held accountable for the crash She's in a much worse predicament. She's under criminal investigation for DUI, which could make things far worse for her. How much have you had to drink tonight? Uh, what do you think? I- I'm asking you. Two glasses of wine. Two glasses of wine? Yeah. Okay. Anything else besides that? No. Okay. What kind of wine was it? Cab. A cab? Okay. Yeah. Where did you have those wines at? the question you're just looking at me so I'm, I'm just wondering why you're asking me like I told you I explained, I'm conducting a criminal DUI investigation right now sure okay so that's why I'm asking these questions in Winter Park you don't want to tell me the name of the restaurant or bar you were at it doesn't matter I mean I, I 
matters? I mean, does it matter where you're not coming from there? Are you conducting a criminal investigation towards me? Yes. Right now? Yes. Okay. So am I having any point of... I mean, I'm... Is there a question in there? So, while you were talking to him, well, after the crash happened, all right, you're at his at his window. What was yes. going on there? Why, why were you yelling at him back and forth? Because he yelled at my, he hit my car. Okay. As he hit me. Okay. Yep. Okay. Any, so when he got out of the car, what did you do? I did nothing. Okay. Did at any point you put your hands on him and put him try to push him back in the car or, re nope. or redirect him back towards the car? Nope. No. No. Okay, because that's what he's saying. He's saying like, he tried getting out of the car. Actually, I'm, I watched the video because he had a video on his cell phone that he got out. Okay, that he got out of the car, and as he's getting out of the car, you redirect, try to redirect him back inside the car. I never touched him. No. No. Okay. Is there a reason why you think reason why he would say differently? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Why did you tell him so many times that you were a cop? Do you think that was gonna make the circumstances any different with him or anything of that nature? I didn't do anything to him. Okay. At all. I'm just wondering because Liz, listen. I didn't do anything to him. Generally, most cops no. that I know, we don't shout that we're cops to people. No. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It was, you were just doing it in a very aggressive manner. It was kind of intimidating. You see what I'm saying? I didn't intimidate him at all. Okay. He hit my car. Okay. And that's where we're at right now. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Sure. On a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being completely sober and 10 being completely drunk, what do you think you're at? Uh, I've not drank. What do you mean? Not five minutes ago, you told me you had two glasses of Cabaret uh, uh, Cab. So obviously you can have you, to. Can you drink, though, and still drive and not be under the legal limit? You can be point you, you, under you can't okay that's not what oh, i asked wait. that's not what i asked you though so, so like one glass so you said two glasses earlier and then the original question i asked you was on a scale of zero to ten zero being completely sober sure. ten being completely drunk what do you think you're at and your response was i haven't drank but that contradicts what you said earlier because you have drank today sure so again on a scale of zero to ten zero sure. being completely sober ten being completely drunk what do you think you're at uh maybe two glasses maybe Okay, so I understand you had two glasses. That's not what I'm asking you. On that scale of zero being completely sober all the way to 10 being completely drunk, what do you think you're at? Again, you're asking me what I'm at. One to 10. Zero to 10, correct. Okay. Okay. So I can be at home and have a glass of wine and be out and have five glasses of wine. It just depends on who you're asking. Right. So, I'm asking what you think your impairment level is, not how many glasses of wine you have drank. I can have a glass of wine right now and get home. Okay. Sarah is either unable to comprehend the question or is trying to avoid it altogether. In any case, it's clear that she is too drunk to be handling the questions or the situation well. So I'm going to ask you again, would you want to do some field sobriety exercises? No. No? Okay, so you, and you do understand the implications. I'm going to have to make a decision based on what we've seen, heard, talked about. And that it could be used against you in court. Do you understand that? You are going to come at me right now for what he says, mm -hmm. for what he hit me okay. on my car. Okay. I'm not coming at you. Like I said I'm conducting an investigation. Okay. Crash investigation was done. You were determined to be at fault. You have a very strong odor of alcohol in your breath. Your mannerisms have been what typical what an impaired driver would be. Okay. You have bloodshot eyes. All right. You, have not been acting how I would say a police officer should be acting, especially off duty. That's besides the fact. Once again, the Apopka officer goes on about how the victim hit her and refuses to cooperate with the current investigation that's going on, the criminal DUI investigation that she herself is the focus of. So I'm going to ask you again, are you willing to do field sobriety exercises? Back. 
this point in time, we're being placed under arrest for DUI and battery. It's quite obvious that the Apopka officer is drunk. There were more than enough indicators in her behavior, not to mention the witnesses who saw her swerving while driving, and the officers all noticing the odor of alcohol coming from her. It's likely that the Apopka officer herself was aware that she was drunk, which is why she refused the field sobriety tests. They would only strengthen the case against her. This was yet another case of officers behaving poorly and like complete idiots who have to be put in check by other more sensible officers of the law.